Time and time again, the world had witnessed the power of one. It was one simple man from Gujarat who started a mass movement for an independent India. It was one common man from Gujarat who merged hundreds of disjointed states to form one united India. It was one small state, the abode of Lord Sri Krishna, that was the hub for trade and commerce of ancient India. And it is this one state that continues to fuel India's growth. Gujarat, the growth engine of India. Gujarat, the numero uno state of India, has several firsts to its credit. The first state to have formulated and implemented the BOT law for encouraging private sector participation. The first state to have two fully functional LNG terminals. The first state to implement interlinking of 20 rivers. The first state to have provided uninterrupted 24-hour three-phase electricity of its villages. And the first state to celebrate theme years for focus and comprehensive development. Gujarat has one of the best infrastructures in the country. And more importantly, this state-of-the-art infrastructure is well networked. Statewide gas grid, the first in the country to operate on a common carrier principle. Statewide water distribution grid, which once operational will quench the thirst of 14,000 villages and 154 towns. Statewide IP-based e-governance network, the largest in Asia Pacific. Gujarat has only 5% of India's population and 6% of its geographical area. However, its contribution to India is phenomenal. 80% of diamond processing, 45% of pharmaceuticals, 35% of sponge iron. With mind-boggling contributions in the production of oil and gas as well as significant new discoveries, Gujarat is the undisputed petro capital of India. And with 33 approved SEZs, Gujarat has also emerged as the SEZ capital of India. Gujarat, the most industrialized state of India, contributes to as much as 16.2% of India's industrial production. However, what makes it an investor's paradise is the fact that percentage of man days lost in Gujarat due to labor strife is just 0.52% the lowest in the country. Reasons why Gujarat has achieved the highest GDP growth of 10.6% in the country. Gujarat, the growth engine of India. Gujarat is a land of innovation and there are several trend-setting initiatives that have empowered the weaker sections of the society and enabled it to leap upwards in the Human Development Index. The raising of the Sardar Sarovar Narmada Dam height to 121.9 meters from 90 meters five years ago has quenched the thirst of thousands of villages, towns, and cities. Integrated water resource management, including check dams, micro-irrigation, rainwater harvesting has transformed the arid landscapes, arrested the water table decline, and ushered in prosperity. Sustained campaigning for encouraging girl-child education through Kunya Kelavani project has resulted in primary school dropout rates dropping dramatically. Krishi Mahatsva, the month-long festival of knowledge sharing based on lab-to-land -land approach has resulted in a significant rise in agricultural production and doubling of farmers' income in just five years. Jahoti Gram project that provides 24-hour, three-phase uninterrupted electrical supply to all the 18,000 villages has given a tremendous boost to the rural economy. The ongoing Karma Yogi Maha Abhiyan to train over half a million government officials has brought about a significant attitudinal change and reinforced good governance. 
Chi Ran GV Project, a healthcare innovation for expecting women from the socio-economically weaker sections, has dramatically reduced the IMR and MMR, and has received the Asian Innovation Award from Global Interpolis Singapore. Swagat through which the chief minister himself addresses the grievances of the common man is an internationally recognized e-governance initiative unique to Gujarat. Yet another pioneering initiative is in the area of speedy justice. 42 evening courts and 19 Nari Adalats are now operational and even the experiment of Laki Adalats has been hugely successful. One Bandhu Kulyan Project, a trendsetter initiative for integrated tribal development promises to create a level playing field by facilitating equal opportunities for all. And the Sahagar Kidu Project, for the development of the 1600 kilometer long coastal belt, holds tremendous developmental promise for the associated industry and communities. Gujarat's comprehensive development and innovative reforms across all sectors caught the fancy of global investors and the recently concluded Vibrant Gujarat's Global Investor Summit and Vibrant Gujarat's Urban Summit was attended by business barons, corporate houses and investors from the world over was a mega success. While Reliance Group Chairman Mr. Mugesh Ambani had massive investments to announce. As Reliance we started from here, we learned some of our best lessons here in creating every single manufacturing facility from Naroda to the world's largest grassroots refinery in Jamnagar. It is a matter of great pride, pleasure and satisfaction for me to announce our intention to sign MOUs worth over 67,000 crores of rupees, which we will invest in the coming years. Mr. Ratan Tata of the Tata Group voiced his opinions loud and clear. In course of time, I think the Chief Minister will find that he will not have to attract people to Gujarat. The question will be, you're stupid if you're not here. So, with that I would say, this state is one of the most progressive states in the country. It's the fastest growing. It has a government that, that works. And the wave of partnerships continued as Gujarat inked 491 MOUs to the tune of $150 billion and demonstrated yet again as to why it is called the growth engine of India. Gujarat, the growth engine of India. In the past five years, the land of business success has redefined success, and this has largely become possible because of the innovative and time-bound reforms of the government led by Mr. Narendra Modi. Under his visionary leadership, Gujarat has emerged as one of the most happening states of India. Knowledge corridors, riverfronts, rapid transit systems, greening of cities, statewide adoption of CNG, gas-based economy, port-led development, fast-track urban development. It's all happening in Gujarat. PSUs have turned around in just five years. T&D losses are on the decline. Agricultural income has shot up. Revenue deficit completely wiped off. E-governance now 100% functional in all urban local bodies. Little wonder that on this journey of excellence, several prestigious awards have come Gujarat's way. The UN Sasakawa Award for Outstanding Reconstruction Work in Disaster Risk Reduction, the number one rank in Economic Freedom Index, and the Elitex 2007 Award for the Best E-Governance State in India. Awards apart, one of the best indicators of the prosperity in the state is the fact that Gujarat's per capita income is much higher than the All India average. And while the people of Gujarat continue to prosper and celebrate life and its vibrancy, Gujarat continues to be a state where progress is policy-driven, policies are reforms-driven, and reforms are people-driven.
Gujarat, a state of innovative reform.